Hi, I'm Bill Link, and this is a skill miter saw, and I'm going to show you the four basic cuts that you'll use in just about every project you build. Those are a cross cut, which is just a straight cut right across the grain of the board. This is just cutting a board to length. Then there's a miter cut, and in this case, the cut is angled across the width of the board. Then there's a bevel cut, which is also an angled cut, but this time the angle goes through the thickness of the board. Then finally is a compound cut, which combines a miter and a bevel cut. So those are the four basic cuts that you can make with a miter saw. Now I want to show you the adjustments that you need to be familiar with. The first one is the miter angle. And to adjust that, you use this knob and lever that are located at the front of the saw. That allows you to swing the cutting head and the table side to side. You'll also have to adjust the bevel angle. And that's done using this star-shaped knob at the back of the saw. We'll start with the simplest cut, and the one you're probably going to make most often. It's a cross cut, straight across the grain of the board. You're just cutting a board to length. All right, so I've already marked this board where I want it cut. Now I need to make sure that my miter angle is at zero, and my bevel angle is at zero. Once I've done that, I'll just align the board to make the cut by bringing the saw blade down and aligning it on my cut mark. Now I need to align the blade on the waist side so that when I cut it, the board will be exactly the right length. If I cut on the other side of the line or even on the line, it's going to be too short. All right, now that I've got all that set up, I'm ready to make the cut. And that's it. That's all there is to making a perfect cross cut. And now this board is exactly the length I need it. Now I'm going to show you how to make a miter cut. And a miter cut is what you'd use to make pieces for a picture frame or when trimming out a door or window. And the most common miter angle is 45 degrees. So I'll set my saw for a 45 degree miter cut, lock it down. Once again, I've marked this work piece. So I'll lower the blade and align the blade on the waist side of that line. All right, ready for the cut. And that's a 45 degree miter cut. That's one half of a perfect corner joint. All right, now let's take a look at a bevel cut. And a bevel cut is another angled cut. It's the type of cut you'd use to join two pieces of molding if you want an invisible seam. Now this time though, we're going to set the miter angle for zero and we'll set the bevel angle for 45 degrees. And just as before, I've got my workpiece marked and I'll lower the blade and align it on the waist side of that mark and make the cut. So there's a bevel cut. Now just cut the other piece of molding to match and you'll have an invisible seam. All right, let's combine a miter cut and a bevel cut. That's called a compound cut. And you're going to use that anytime you want to bring two pieces of crown molding together in a corner. So I'll set the miter angle to 31.6 degrees, and I'll set the bevel angle to 33.9 degrees. I've marked my workpiece, so I'll slide it over and lower the blade to align it on the waist side of that mark, and then I'll make a compound cut. So that's one example of a compound cut in a piece of crown molding. And by the way, the manual that comes with your skill miter saw explains all these cuts in great detail. So anytime you're taking on a crown molding project, be sure to take a close look at those pages. All right. Well, those are the four basic cuts that you can make with a miter saw. And they'll get you through just about every project you've got. Thanks for being here, and we'll see you next time.